<laughs> it's like, what was he doing with my drapes? The drapes that were hanging in the apartment. I never got the answer to that. Hi, this is Carrie from Sky Properties, and today we're gonna to talk about city inspections, which is probably a landlord's least favorite topic, but yet I think we should talk about it for a minute. And being asked how easy is to pass, how easy is it to fail, unfortunately, that is based completely on the inspector and how picky they are. I've had an inspector look at a building that I had managed for 25 years. Uh, the plumbing had been done uh, by the owner that was the current owner 30 or 40 years before this inspector showed up. He said, where is the permits for this plumbing? So uh, we went down to building and safety and tried to pull them and unfortunately, they were not there. We then contacted the plumber and he didn't have records that went back that far even though we still did business with the same plumber and that plumber would testify that it was done with permits at the time but they wanted to put the building in reap and the building was in you could eat off the floors at this building it was just an immaculate building and he was just being a jerk reap is a rent escrow pro program there are some buildings that definitely deserve to be in reap because they're in just terrible horrible condition unfortunately it's not defined well as to what buildings should be in reef or not. Again, this is a building that had been maintained by the same man lovingly for more than 40 years and there was no issues at the property and yet it was going to go into the REAP program. At the very last minute before this building went into REAP, I was rummaging through an old file cabinet and opened up a file and out poured all the building permits that the building had ever had, stamped, signed, everything. It was all there kind of a horror story, but uh, it turned out well. But I can tell you that they can be very, very picky or they can be very nonchalant. It depends on their mood and it depends on who you get. Also, I'm asked a lot, should I go to their supervisor? I would warn you to be careful about going above them um, after an inspection. I would try to work with that inspector if you can. Reaching out to their supervisor almost always backfires, so I'd be very careful about that. We've had some inspectors that have been fairly easy to work with and that they want you to just take pictures and show them that everything is done. And that, you know, hopefully you get an inspector like that so that you can pass easily. And if you don't, you can easily send them how you fixed it. 